I got something today from uh, a person that I so appreciate him getting in touch with me. His name is Wayne. All right, now the way I would pronounce this is La Forme. What you think, Eddie? La Forme? <laughs> it's like three words, La For Me. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> so he tells me, Wayne tells me that I wanted to write and share a quick story uh, about a family favorite recipe. My mom passed away last year. One of the last meals I was able to cook for her, for her was your dynamite air fryer fried chicken. And she gave it a thumbs up. And you're not lying. That chicken does make everybody happy. And I tell everyone I know about that recipe as it is foolproof, delicious, and easy to clean up. In fact, he says, we done wore out our first air fryer making that chicken. <laughs> well, Wayne, if you're... Uh, looking and in the market for an air fryer, this is the Paula Dean latest air fryer. And you see it takes a top position in our kitchen. I use it all the time, every day. Uh, so like I said, if you're in the market, this is our newest and our largest air fryer out there. And it gives you your... Um, temperatures. All you have to do is hit the button that applies to whatever you're cooking. It's great. So if you're in the market uh, and the recipe that he's sharing with me today is uh, for every holiday meal in northeastern central Pennsylvania. My mom made this every Christmas and Thanksgiving. So it will always be on our table. And this is similar dish to southern corn pudding. But like our Yankee cornbread, there is sugar in it. So please give it a try. This particular formulation is a huge hit at every potluck. And every potluck that they take it to, and it couldn't be easier. So thank you, Wayne. Y'all know how much I love hearing from y'all. Um, so here we go. I do have a corn casserole recipe that, you know, people um, everywhere across the U.S. that I've been say, Ooh, that corn casserole is on our Thanksgiving and Christmas table every year. So I can't wait to try your uh, formulation, Wayne, for this. All right, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to combine our wet ingredients, and this is let me see. It's on two different sheets. Four eggs lightly beaten, two cans. Get off of there. Two cans of cream corn. This almost sounds like it could be a dessert, Wayne. Because <laughs> it does have a lot of sugar in it. And of course, the corn is sweet as well. So, All right. One, two, and this is 14.25 uh, ounces is the can that you will need the size. All right, and then two cans of uh, whole kernel corn. Am I going to have enough room in this bowl? <laughs> I don't know. I about, I about got a too tiny a bowl, y'all. Because I've still got a I've still got <laughs> I think I should have to. No, I'm going to just take care of this. All right, I have a cup of sugar. Thank you, Teresa. And a cup of flour. And I believe that's uh, all-purpose flour. Yes, it is. All right. So Wayne tells us not to overmix this. So I'm going to do exactly what he says. I'm not going to overmix it. So I'm going to add my wet to my dry. And 
and I'm just going to do it this way since I didn't have room <laughs> in that other bowl. And my butter. It's not much butter, Wayne. <laughs> So we're just gonna fold that together until you don't see any more wet flour. And Wayne says to uh, bake this at 375 for about 45 minutes or until firm. So it will really just depend on your, your ovens. But I would say 30 minutes could well be long enough. Okay. I've sprayed our pan. And I think that's everything I was supposed to have, right? Yep. And Wayne tells us that on that cup of milk, you can use evaporated milk. And, uh... If I'd had evaporated, that's what I would have used because it just makes dishes so much richer. And uh, that's what I like making my macaroni and cheese with. So in the oven, 375 for uh, 45 minutes, but I'm gonna put my timer on 30 minutes and we'll go from there. Wayne, this looks so very good, son. I just took it out of the oven and <laughs> it's gonna be very very hot and it looks very very good so uh my friends out there that have uh, that has made my corn casserole recipe you'll have to try this you'll have to try wayne's and see how you how you like his Looks very pretty. Mm. Michael, you want to come taste? Oh, well, it's probably not on my diet, but you insist. <laughs> yes, it is. It's on your diet. Oh, oh, let me get some forks. So we can fork it. <laughs> hmm? This is like. I can't hardly really believe you eating it with your fingers. I got a fork. Okay. See my first right here. This is like it's like a dessert, Wayne, with that cup of sugar. Uh, I was gonna say you don't, you're not gonna salt it, are you, Michael? Definitely. Okay, because it does not need salt. Yes, I would. <laughs> I would call this corn cake, Wayne. <laughs> mm. So good. How corny. <laughs> it is corny, ain't it? <laughs> That's good. That's better than yours. Oh. Let me taste it with the pepper. It's so hot. It is hot. It looks like it's good. Mm-hmm. But it's good. It's just, like I said, like a dessert. Mm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. I'll come back. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> Thank you so much. I enjoyed reading your your letter to me. Love you and love your recipe. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.